glue today. We're gonna start with our magic ring. There's a couple alternatives to this, but if you can figure out the magic ring, you'll be set up for all crocheting. Start by having the dead end of the tail over here, then make an X and wrap it around your hand. I'm gonna take my hook, go under and then over, and then pull it through, shimmy my hand, and add a chain, which is pulling the yarn through. This is a magic ring. Let me show that to you again though. I have my tail, wrap around to make an X, pinch in the middle, go under, then over, and pull it through, and then shimmy shimmy it off. Take your working yarn or the yarn attached to the ball, tighten it, and then pull it through the loop, making a one chain. Now that you have the magic ring, we're gonna put six single crochets into it. To do that, place your hook underneath it. You can tighten your working yarn. Yarn over, which is placing the yarn on top, and then pulling through. Now you have two loops on your hook. So we're gonna yarn over again and pull through. If you're struggling with the pull through, Remember that our hook is a hook, so you're gonna to wanna to turn to pull under. So that was one single crochet, I'm gonna do it again. Going under both of these, tighten a little bit, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, then pull through both, and that's a second single crochet. I'm gonna repeat this four more times, pulling out some more yarn. Yarn over, yarn over, it's number three, yarn over, that's one, two, three, four, this is the fifth, and this is six. Now it's the fun part of making a magic ring. I like to pinch up here, then you're going to pull your tail and tighten it. It should slide all the way through. If it's not, you're going to want to redo the magic ring and make sure you get that right first. Now I'm going to put my stitch marker in. I'm going to put in the very last stitch I made, which is this guy. It has both loops, and that makes a whole stitch. And that is round one. For round two of the axolotl, we're going to, it says increase six times. Well, an increase is two single crochets in the same stitch. So, I'm gonna start by doing it in this first stitch. A stitch is where we have these two lines and it makes like a little oval. You should count six of them. I'm gonna take my hook and insert into that stitch. The first one's a little tricky sometimes, it's a little tight, so you might have to wiggle. Once I have it on, I'm gonna do one single crochet. And then in the same spot, which is right there, I wanna do another single crochet. And this is called an increase. It's gonna be how we get the perfect shape of our axolotl. So there's an increase, one, two stitches. I'm gonna repeat this five more times. So in the next stitch, I'm gonna insert, yarn over, do one single crochet, and then I'm gonna do a second single crochet. And I'll do that again. And again. If I'm ever going too fast, feel free to pause the video. I think on YouTube you could even change the speed if you need it to go slower. Now I've done about 10. My next ones are marked by the stitch marker. I find it easier to take it out, do my stitches, and then replace it. So I want to do one more increase. And 
And now that we've finished with round two, I want to place our stitch marker back in the last stitch that we made. We're going to move it up each time. Cool. For round three, it says single crochet, increase, repeat six times. What that means is that in the next stitch, we're going to do one increase. And then in the next stitch, oh, I spoke wrong. The first stitch is one single crochet. It's not an increase, just one. And the next one, we'll do an increase, which is again, our two single crochets in the same spot. So there's the one and there's the increase. I'm gonna repeat that series all the way around. So on the next one, I do one and then an increase. one, and then an increase, one, and then an increase, and we're almost to the end. I want to do one single crochet, remove my stitch marker, do my last increase, and then put it back. If you're following along with our pattern, ooh, there's the body. So this is each round that we're doing. Don't mind my pen markups. This is what we're doing for each round, and this is the number of stitches. So we just finished Round three, so we should have 18 stitches. Now remember, it's both of these. So it'll be one, two, three, four, or we can show it this way, pulling this out just so I can show you. That's one, two, three, four, five. Don't worry, I won't do it for all of them. You can see it goes all the way around. I'm mean, just putting my hook back in, but I got a little tangled. For round four, it says two single crochet and then an increase. The two single crochets are different than the increase. They're going to be in different stitches. So for the next one, we're going to do one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do another single crochet and then an increase. Increase, one, one. So here's one, two, increase. One, two, increase and you're going to repeat that all the way around one two increase and if you were ever wondering yes i do say this inside my head when i crochet doesn't matter how long i've been crocheting i still count in my head two double or an increase and then one to take out the stitch marker, increase, and replace the stitch marker. Sweet, we should be at the 24 stitches. Round five, we're gonna be starting to see a pattern here. We're gonna do three single crochets and then an increase. So, one, two, three, and we're going to increase all the way around. One, two, three, increase, two,
Oops, see my hook fell out, that's okay. I'm just gonna put it right back in. If you're a knitter and you're new to crocheting, yep, your hook could come out and you just have to put it back in. It is not that big a deal. Knitting, you'd lose like your whole piece. Three, increase, and then my last time. One, two, three, increase. So this is as wide as our oxalotl is going to get. We have our circle. As you can see, it's a little hexagony almost. That's okay once we do. The next 10 rows, you won't even notice. For rows 6 through 15, for the next 10 rounds, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch. So there's no increases. You're just going to put one in each stitch which means you should still have 30 stitches at the end of each round. All right, you're getting the picture. It's already starting to turn out more. So you're gonna do this for 10 rounds. So after I finish this round, that would be round six, and then seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. I trust that you're able to do that. In the next video, I'm gonna see you at the end of round 15, and we're gonna place our eyes, make it smile, and then we'll start decreasing and stuffing. I just finished round 15. As you can tell, we're starting to see our oxalotl shape. I'm next going to add a smile and the eyes. Make it a little easier. I'm pulling this, I'm taking out my hook and I'm putting my stitch marker in my loop, tightening it. This way it just won't come undone and kind of stays out of the way. Pattern says place the safety eyes, black parts, between rounds six and seven. So if we start at the top, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and this is seven. So I'm placing it right there. And these are not locked into place because I haven't put the backs on yet, which are up here. About six stitches apart. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, right there-ish. It all to be exact. These are not locked in yet because I like to add my smile to make sure everything's gonna be even. So I have a piece of black yarn, putting it through my tapestry needle. I'm going to start on the back side, if it wants to go through, there we go. I'm going to poke it through and pull so I have a few inches in the bottom, more up here. I'm going to go across two stitches and go through, and then from the back I'm going to go down a row in the middle, pull through. And I'm going to take my point and kind of pull it down. And then I'm going to tighten it. It's a little uneven, so if you want to like play around with it. Alright, I think the eyes look good. They look even. Let's put the backs on. These are the backs of the safety eyes. You can see that. So you want to make sure that it's as flush as possible. So if I push this out so we can see it, this is the back of my safety eye. I'm going to take this and place it on like that. I'm going to press it really tight. I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye. While we're here, I'm going to take out my needle. I like to do a loose square knot on the back of all my strings because I am terrified of things coming undone. Even though it really won't. I don't have my scissors. I'm just going to trim it. Put that away. <laughs> I am definitely starting to see Axolotl. Alright, let's move on to the next round. Pulling out my stitch marker and placing it back. Putting my hook back in. Round 16 says three single crochets 
decrease. So let's start with our three single crochets. This is basically going to be the opposite of the earlier rounds. One, two, three. But now we have to do a decrease. Decreases are kind of fun. You're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, and pull through. So you have two. It's just like the beginning of a single crochet. In the next stitch, insert, yarn over, pull through. So you have three. Yarn over and pull through all three. And that's decrease. You basically just combine two stitches together. Then we'll do three single crochets again. And then I'll show you my decrease again. Here's a decrease, insert, yarn over, pull through, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three. Bam. I'm going to finish this row. You're going to start to see, like I said, it's just the opposite of the earlier rounds, which makes it super easy. Another decrease. One, two, three. Decrease. Two, three. And my last decrease, I got two stitches, take out my stitch marker, do a decrease, pull through, and place a stitch marker. Cool. You can see it's starting to get a little smaller. Round 17 says two single crochets decrease. So we're going to do one, two, decrease. And I know you guys understand this by now. So go ahead and pause the video and finish this round. I'm going to see you at the end of round 17. I just finished round 17. Definitely starting to get smaller. I'm going to pull some stuffing. We're going to start stuffing this as we go. So you don't want to just squish this whole thing in there. You want to pull it apart into small clumps and place it in. And this is going to give you a rounder, fuller look, and it uses less stuffing. I'm trying to keep my yarn out so I can make sure I can finish it. He's looking like a little pill bug or something right now. He's looking funny. Maybe a penguin. All right. I like that so far. I'm going to do the next round, which is single crochet. Oh, my thing's all tingled. Single crochet and then a decrease. I'm going to stuff some more and then do the next one if this whole thing doesn't get super tangled. There we go. <laughs> Putting my hook back on. One single crochet and then a decrease. I'll see you at the end. Okay, just finished that round. I'm gonna stuff a little bit more, but not too much. Because I don't like when he's like hard. I like when he's fluffy. Alright. I took out my stitch marker because I'm just gonna count the next one in my head because it's a little close and sometimes the stitch marker gets in the way. Next one is six decreases. And you know how to do decreases. Definitely by now. Ugh. Mine are a little messy, but that's okay. It's just gonna be at the bottom. It's a little difficult for me to do it on camera. All right, there's one. Two. Three. It's okay, these are a little difficult. They don't have to be perfect. Four. Five. 
Mine are pretty tight, so I think I'm gonna stop here. You can totally do the extra one if you want. It's not necessary. I'm gonna make sure I'm absolutely okay with the stuffing, because once I close it up, we're done. I think I like it. I'm gonna take my scissors. I'm gonna cut a bit of a tail. And this is called fastening off. You're simply gonna pull it through. Now it can't come undone. But we gotta close up this. There are two main methods to do this. I'll show you one putting my tail on my tapestry needle. And each of the stitches, you're just gonna go through it. Don't worry about pulling tight, we'll do that at the end. I'm just going around each of the last rows of stitches, it's about six or seven, sometimes it's five if your decreases took an extra. It's, it is a-okay no matter what. And last one and then you get to pull tight do a little more yep and it closed up I like to tie a knot right at the end just makes me feel a little better about things coming undone now we're gonna hide our tail you don't want to just cut it off you want to stick your needle close to where it's coming out and then you can poke it out Anywhere that's blue. Pull through. We're going to cut this close to the base. It sticks out a little bit. You can poke it through, kind of rub it. Now we have our body of our axolotl. Because you just finished the body of the axolotl, this belly is going to be easy peasy. You're going to start with your magic ring. Pull through. I split my yarn a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Under, over, pull, shimmy, chain one, six single crochets in the magic ring. Four, five, and six. Rah. Pinch and pull. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add my stitch marker. And then the next round is the exact same as the body. I'm gonna increase six times. Remember, an increase is two single crochets in the same stitch. Three, four. round single crochet increase all the way around I told you it's the exact same as the body and if you follow a lot of my patterns here at lousy llama creations you're gonna notice a very repetitive pattern a lot of patterns go by six and I like to keep them that way although sometimes we'll see it's starting with fours or whatever I prefer six so almost every single one of my patterns follows the same pattern well I'm all twisted that's okay just pull it out See, that was an increase, that was a single, so we're on the increase. Double, one, and then an increase. So, very special tip right here. 
where you can do one slip stitch and that's going to make this a little rounder. Do a slip stitch, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull through again. As you can tell, it's a little rounder. Don't have to, but I think it's easier. You're going to leave a tail for all that sewing, cut it, and then fasten off. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the back. So when we're assembling it, sewing it on, it's not in the way. We're getting close to the end of our axolotl. We have to make his gills though. Let's do, I have, this is my secondary color, it's blue. You're gonna make six gills in this color and then six gills in your primary base body color, which for me was light blue. All right, you're gonna start with your magic ring and I bet you're a master of it by now. Under, over, pull through. Chain one, and then six single crochets. Pinch and pull, and that's it. You're gonna leave a tail so you can sew it on. Cut, fasten off. And it is that easy peasy. You can see it makes a little half moon. Next video, I'll show you how to sew, but we're gonna sew these all on in the belly. So don't forget to make six of these in the secondary color and then two in this color, your base for the arms. Let's put all these pieces on our axolotl so it actually looks like an axolotl. I wanna start with the belly because that's gonna help us center it. So I'm gonna take the tail, put it on my tapestry needle, and I want to let you in on a little secret. It doesn't matter how you sew pieces on and crochet as long as it stays. So I'm going to show you a method. If you hate it, just make sure it stays on. That's the only thing that matters. Here I'm going through the white onto the blue. Pulling through. And then I want to go back through the same stitch just in white. And do that again. Down through white and blue. Back only through white. And I want to repeat that all the way around. Oops, hard time grabbing. There we go. If you want to go up and down through all of them, do it. I, my philosophy is as long as it stays, you don't need to call it something fancy or do it by a different method. You just want your pieces to stay. You want it to look like an axolotl. And if you're struggling keeping it on, you can use straight pins as well so that it stays attached and you don't have to keep your hand here. I think I'll be okay with this, but sometimes with legs on like bigger stuffed animals, I like to use straight pins. Sorry, this is not the most exciting part about crochet, but I think it's one of my favorites. I love seeing all the pieces come together. Because let me tell you, this little oval with a smiley face did not look like an axolotl. Now, I think he kind of looks like a penguin, but those gills are really going to help. I'm inserting right around in the white, sticking out through the bottom and pulling through. 
taking our scissors, cutting, and I'm going to push it in. It's out a little bit. Starting to see the shape? Let's add the gills. I'm going to put the end on my tapestry needle. These sometimes come out uneven, but again, I want to tell you, it doesn't matter. It's going to look super cute. I'm placing it towards the top of the head. And this one, I don't have a specific style. I just go in and out, in and out, until I make sure it is totally secure. As you can see, oh, I hope you can see, I'm going down through light blue, and then when I come back, I'm just going through teal. It's just a method I do. I, I want to say it a million times, it doesn't matter as long as your pieces stay on. He looks weird. Okay, <laughs> let's hide our tails. I'm gonna cut them off at the end because I think that's way more fun. But I'm also hiding both tails on these pieces. All right, let's add another one. I'm not gonna walk you through all of these because it is the exact same thing. I just wanna show you that it will start to look like an axolotl. <laughs> these, I like to go right next to it. Yeah, he's starting to look like it. <laughs> Alright, I go ahead and pause the video here and sew on your six gills as well as your two arms. The arms go about here and I will see you at the end. This, this is our finished axolotl. He's got his arms and his fins. All the tails are hidden. I hope you had a great time making it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, email me. Um, I there My email is on the YouTube. But again, you can contact me through Etsy as well as my website. Whatever you need to get a hold, I answer all questions. I especially see all the comments um, on the video. So if you need a direct question, 